I'm marking on top. Keep coming. So we got a call for a truck that is off the road. It's up at the top of the Burma Trail. It came from the top side of Little Creek up there. So we're gonna head out here and see if we can get it. We got the wrecker on the back of the rollback. We got these guys. Good morning. Good morning. And we got Ray here. He's the one that actually took it off the road. Good morning. The weather's cool. Uh, gonna be a nice day though. All right, we're gonna see how far we can make it in here with the rollback before the road gets bad enough that we unload the wrecker. Got a seating problem like we always do. We all know how that goes. It's my favorite part. So after this, we have an expo that we're going to, so we're gonna try and get this job done. We're up early. We did a job recently where we made sure that there's cinders on the road. This is cinders right here, this red stuff. So the cinders are a natural thing. There's a pile of cinders right there. We're going to be driving right here, right past a cinder mine. They just mine it right out of there. So that little hill right there is called a cinder knoll, and it's just full of cinders. And it's like a natural little small gravel, and uh, I think it's the origin of cinder blocks. If you come to Hurricane, you will see a bunch of cinder knolls. Every, every knoll you look at is a cinder knoll. Yeah, so uh, it's volcanic activity. It's an, it's an igneous rock. Um, oh, I haven't heard that since. It's been great, great, great school. school. We recently did a job where I unhooked the trailer and spun it around. And oh my goodness, everybody reminded me that I said never, 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 ever, under any circumstances, ever unhook your trailer. And I still stand by that. The way you got to think of it is never do a barrel roll in a jetliner. Ever, ever, ever. But if you do, you better be the pilot. You should never unhook a trailer. If you call me and I come and you've unhooked from your trailer, you're gonna get chewed out. But if I unhook from your trailer, it's part of the process. Trust the process. I'm just gonna unload right here. Some guys try to take their on-road rollbacks on off-road. We don't do that here at Matt's Off-Road Recovery. This truck is certified to do this job. It's time to switch to the wrecker. You're caught between two rocks. Mm -hmm. So I pushed that rock huh. from right here with my truck. Okay. Trying to make room. So this is actually a really cool trail. I dirt bike right down here. There's an abandoned golf course. Super fun, I love it. And it's kind of cool to look at it. A lot of you are gonna recognize this spot. We spent most of a day on the other side of that rock pulling a razor out of the bottom down there. That's where you pulled it off? Yeah, we were parked right there. And a lot of people ask us, why didn't we just go downhill? Can't really see it. The razor was right there. Oh, you can see it good from here. All those rocks and trees right there, like there's just a wall right down there. That just made it so going down was not an option. All right, I've got to turn this truck around. You think so? Yeah. You don't think one winch off the back would pull it up? We're gonna turn it around. I don't know how, but I kind of think right here is where to do it. Wish me luck. Crab walk it like that over here.
coming. You're good. Keep coming. Keep coming. Okay. Crank your, yeah. I like that. Keep coming. Man, this thing just, it looks massive, it is massive, but man, it can just turn around on stuff like this. Somebody wrote in the comments that the record slithers like a snake with elephant feet. <laughs> that's funny. One of my favorite comments, because that's exactly what it does. Okay, we're going clear underneath there. Okay, Rhett. <laughs> you ready to be in this vehicle? Yeah, of course. Look at that clip. Okay. Look like the one right here. That's just a slight slope. The GoPro does not show the angles like it should. Okay, what do you want? I want you to turn your wheels driver. Right there, just hold it right there. Coming off fine, it's about to pop off. Yep, you're off of it. That's doing exactly what we need it to. Yeah, it's dancing right over. Okay, right, put it in reverse. Straighten your wheels out, so turn a little bit left. Yeah, right there. I'm just gonna get this out of the way. So there, there was that tire. He was up on this rock. And now he's up on the road. I love these jobs. Cool area, cool spot. Technical, just... technical, like, okay, well, you weren't gonna drive it out. Yeah. <laughs> no. What a great way to start out our morning. Look at that. Here's that. Rhett, set the brake, put it in park, come help me rig up. Are you, just, are you gonna pull this up? I'm gonna stay hooked to it just, just because. We don't want this to happen again. You know what? You could do this Let's right here. Let's try to turn right. this around. You want to try and back right. up there? Hang on a second. Let me get out of your way. I do the rear end. Then I can hook onto the front and just help pull the front end around. Then this will drive out of here. That'll oh, take. Yeah, that'll and take a lot of uh, time out. Just ain't got no weight on the back end. Yeah. Of this. Crank your wheels hard to the left and back up real gently, all the way. Yep, all the left. Right. Okay. Back it up. All the way to the right left. stuff out ready to help him and he didn't need any help. You just trusted your kid to turn a vehicle around on a cliff. I trust my kids. Plus, like I always say, I got three more at home almost as good as that one. I'm gonna have Colin jump in with Rhett. We're gonna take this to the top. We're gonna head up in the old, the old wrecker. 
Bear with me, Colin. We're still learning this rig in a very controlled, safe setting. Look at where we're at. We're at the top. Alright, I'm just gonna leave this thing parked right here. My grandson's gonna steal it from me as soon as I get to the house. <laughs> there we go. We'll get him out. Well, sir, I thank you kindly for giving us an awesome job you, this morning. That was a lot of fun. Got to hang out with my boys, got to flex the red curve muscles. We're in just some of the most beautiful country. We've got Zion and Kolob over there and Pine Valley Mountain over there and the Arizona Strip, Mount Trumbull out that way. The Vermilion Cliffs right there. We've awesome. got everything around here. So we got a call for a vehicle that is stuck up on the dry wash trail. Some people call it the flying monkey. We're gonna head up there and see if we can get it. This is gonna be a straight up wheeling trip. Awesome, we're gonna go help this customer out, go up and see some flying monkeys. <laughs> Flying monkeys. The customer tells me that the engine seized up and it has no power, so it's gonna be a dead pull all the way out. We'll get him out. That's the way to the restricted area. It's a government test site, and that's where they shoot monkeys off the edge. What? They used to. Back in the day, they tested ejection systems and rocket motors, like, it was legit. Is that where they tested Tang, the drink? Probably, that's where they made Tang. <laughs> So we get the question all the time, how do we pick the banana? How do we pick the Morvair? Why are we taking one over the other? Well, sometimes it's just because I can only drive one and I have to pick one. Sometimes it's because one of them is better at something than the other. And today we picked the banana because this trail is really tight and twisty and it's just gonna fit better and maneuver better through this trail. So that's why we're in the banana today. Look at that big old petrified log right there. Wow. Holy smokes. How old do you think that is, Matt? To get well, petrified. Well, I'm 47 years old, and it's been here as long as I can remember, so I'd say 60 years. That is insane. Yeah, that's... When Rudy was like four or five years old, he repelled off of this cliff right here behind you. Um, yeah, I think we were repelling, just repelling right here. Jake's crawling to the edge. Whoa. I'm gonna say something controversial here. When I was a kid, we went to the Grand Canyon and I remember looking at it going, so, I mean, <laughs> This is where I grew up looking off of things like this. And it was hard to perceive that the, the, the Grand Canyon was bigger. And anyway, I went back as an adult and the same thing, I'm like, oh. So if you plan on coming out and seeing all of the parks, Utah, I think we have seven parks. Yeah. If you wanna hit the, the big parks, please go to the Grand Canyon first because it's like, it's amazing. It is beautiful, it is breathtaking but it's not the most, in my opinion, it's not the most intriguing of the national parks. Cause you can get the Grand Canyon views a lot of places, which is basically what this is. Still amazing. We've now entered the off-road portion of the trail. Oh. <laughs> Jake, how do you feel about this? <laughs> um, are you sure this isn't a hiking trail? <laughs> This is looking a little sketchy, but we'll get there. <laughs> We're definitely wheeling. The last recovery that I did on this trail was a while ago. It was a Jeep Grand Cherokee. Uh, I had Paul come in here with me. We welded it up, drug it out of here, front wheel drive only. I'll show you when we get to the spot, see if you guys remember it. 
So being from Texas, things like this just didn't exist. You had to pay 100 bucks for a weekend just to get on a trail even remotely like this. Every job we go on, I keep finding new and new things to go do on the weekends, which is awesome, and it's free. Okay, we just recently put this hero case in, and holy smokes, is it unbearable. So today's sultry sounds are brought to you by Straight Cut Gears. If they don't make your ears bleed, there's something wrong with you. Right turn. Half speed. Right to three. Straight. Shoot the gap. Shoot the gap. It's time. You know, I was really impressed how far we got. Two wheel drive. Always puts a smile on my face. That's an impressive difference. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's funny how bad that would look, but over the dash of an XJ, it's just not that bad. Man, man I don't care. You know? It's actually it's fairly sketchy. This trail is not maintained. Well, we have to come back through this mm -hmm. trail mm -hmm. hauling a vehicle. Yeah. Awesome. And we got to do the whole thing without running out of gas. See that little calf right there? Peanut, you stay in here. She doesn't even see it because the calf's in here. So the mom is out getting food and water, and she left the little calf there, and she'll come back and get it. It's just laying there trying not to be spotted by coyotes. I just spotted it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a view. Get a tree to, it's been scarred. Yeah, yeah, keep your arms out of there. Oh. Yeah, we touched. But it was just window. Like, jump out, Peanut. Peanut's gonna go find it. Besides the noise, how's the hero case performing for you? Amazing. Okay. Besides the noise, it shifts nice. Geared nice. It's pretty nice. Jake, give us a weather report. All right. Well, the weather out here today is great. It is about 70 degrees, not a cloud. Well, there's a few clouds in the sky, but a great day for going to get this customer's rig out. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Where are we at? Whoa. <laughs> oh, boy. I see it down there. Where is he? It's right down there. Okay. Hang on. Let's get my finger up in there. There we go. Right there. <laughs> That's where we did the job with the Grand Cherokee that we had to weld it all together. We worked right on that, and that is steep and nasty. Like, look how steep and nasty this trail is. That's how steep and nasty that one is. So anyway, the, the rig's right there. I'm thinking I'm going to turn around right here and back down this. Because there's not a good place to turn around. So I'm going to back down this hill. I'm going to channel my inner Rory and see how that goes. Like, this is me doing Rory. Like I was saying, we're going to have to back down this, so uh, yeah. your spotting skills have improved. You know why? Because we got to go on a trail ride the other day and I got to watch Caitlin and Matt do some spotting and some wheeling. We're leveling up. Well, we did not have to back down that, but we did. Good job, Rory. That makes hey, it... they even left us some delicious food. Why didn't the coyotes get that last night? That blows my mind. Peanut. There's your doggy treat. Okay. Jake, will you 
handle this. Yep. And I'm going to back up a little bit more. I just wanted to be on level enough ground that I could open the hatch without everything falling out. What I got for you, Peanut? All right. If we can reel this winch in, that'd be awesome. They said the battery's dead. Ah. So what we're going to do is we're going to move it. We're going to put it right here. I like it. Let's put it through here. And that will keep it out of everybody's way probably for a minute. So speaking of Rory, we're going to be using Rory's trail recovery rope. What's good about this is it's short. It's 10 feet long and on a tight twisty trail, this is what you use. You can check this out at trailmater.com. I even had Rory sign it for me. I don't know if he'll do that for you or not. All right. So I know this isn't a how-to video, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. That's how you do it. I'm gonna put this on your belly right here. This will cool you off. Yeah. Who's your good dog? Who's your good dog? Yeah, this will help you. Oh. For those of you that don't know Peanut very well, if there was water here, she's like an otter. She would be like under the water. So I'm just helping her out there a little bit. Get on the brake and find neutral. That's neutral. That's where I want you to be right okay. there. Okay. I'll just be riding that brake. The right amount. You're just trying not to hit me and you're trying not to, you're just trying to do it right. You know, now that I'm sitting in this razor looking up at this hill, that is steep. Oh yeah. I'm quite concerned about getting up this thing, so we're gonna try it. All right, I think that's the worst of the climbs. I think we're just gonna drive out of here as fast as we can now. I was getting a little worried on that first shoot when we went down that, that hill backwards. The angle on that was intense, but the banana just did it. We did it. Yeah. All right, Colby. I'm gonna hop it in here. My Bold. chariot awaits. Bold man. I feel like I drove over some really big rocks. You yes, did. you did. You drove over some boulders. You might need to back up and go a little wider. There's no wider. Oh, all right, we got this. We'll just roll really slowly. Okay. So you don't want to be on the brakes at all. No. Now, one thing that happens is when it starts sliding, people start correcting. That's... These tires have the most traction when they're rolling. Okay. So if you want to go that way, the wheels have to be rolling. If you turn them too sharp, they stop rolling. And then, then I, I'm just dragging with no direction. Up, up. We're pinching. So what I'm trying to do is avoid pinching against this tree. And as he's going around, it's pulling our front end. 
towards the tree. So, okay, jump out of it. We're gonna do this by manpower. Leave it in neutral. Okay, you ready to go? Yep. Rock. That's the problem, though. Man, these things are heavy. Why are they so heavy? Push it. Let's back back down and try this again. Your yeah. front wheel needs to be right here. Out on this rage. Yeah. Okay. So we'll jump jump right. in there and let's see if we can. Dude, I don't know if I can back up. I'll try. so bad the moment you turn it just starts pulling the front end pendulum okay let's put it in park jump out unhook this good okay this is where you treat it like a jump rope and you go. that's what we want right there Okay. All right, if I was gonna pull this out this way, I think I'm gonna go on this axle, on let's, this lower control arm. Let's talk about this. This yeah. would be a great this is good training. learning and teaching moment. We're in one of those situations where there's several different ways to do what we're doing. Yay, even lots of ways that we could do what we're doing. But we gotta get this away from the tree. What I would do is hook up to the back of this and see if we can just slide the whole back in sideways and that'll get it away from the tree and pivot it for that. So that's what we're gonna try. Perfect. I'm gonna hook right here. Get to go right around this because it is strong enough and according to the training we have to do for towing, it's a rated recovery point. Okay, Jake, I'm gonna need you to kind of babysit this until we get pressure on it. Okay. Now I'm gonna be putting Jake right in the triangle of death. Actually, you can be on I'm the outside be on of the it. Outside of the triangle. But we're not gonna put any pressure on it till he moves, and he better move fast. We're using a snatch block as a redirect right now. We're not multiplying any power. We're just changing the direction. So I was just thinking, even though we had this short, capable little tow rope, we had to do this. But if we were on a like a 20 foot or a 30 foot, this would have been the third or fourth time we were doing this. Yeah. You got everything back in there? Yes, sir. The back door is shut? Nope. He's picking up pretty quick. You know, sometimes I feel like front digs are necessary. I'll Absolutely, Kobe. There we go. Let's not do that again. No. Good to go. Buckle up, Kobe. He's going to get bumpy on this ride. <laughs>
They did. <laughs> we appreciate it. All right, I ain't gonna lie. That was way back in there, and that was a lot of work. I don't know how many times you you go lock to lock on that trail, but how many times would you guess? At least a couple hundred times doing this. Yeah, up against the steering stop. That's not a really hard trail, but that would be a great one for a rear steer buggy. Oh, all day oh, with yeah. those those little Z's. Anyway, we got them out of there. They can go get it fixed, and we're gonna head back and grab some lunch. Thanks for watching. My least favorite thing about side-by-sides is how loud they are. So this is the best side-by-side -side I've ever been in. Yeah, this is like the Tesla of side-by-sides, Colby. <laughs>